which you are about to see is called a scintillating scotoma. This is a migraine aura. It doesn't cause any permanent damage. Many people freak out the first time it happens to them, thinking they're having a stroke or their retina is detaching. The good news is that you'll be okay. Lots of people who get migraines have these, and everyone's experience has some common elements, but they also seem to be unique to each person and event. Some people get the horrible migraine headache after this leaves their visual field, so watch out for that. But the visual phenomenon itself is not painful or anything while it's happening. I've had three different types of these, and I want to show you what each of them look like. So stick around for the whole video, or you can use the chapters to skip to the other kinds if you want to do that. My personal experience with migraines is I used to get the horrible headaches and exhaustion and nausea, but that stopped at about my mid-30s, which was before I ever actually had one of these. It's happened about 10 times over the last 15 years to me. I don't get the headaches any longer, so I tend to take the opportunity to just stop and enjoy the show because it is pretty weird. Since this one happened so long ago, I don't remember the exact shapes of the blocks of black and white, but I do remember they had a slow flashing effect like this, and they were full-on black and white. The leading edge was jaggedy like this. I don't remember if the middle part returned to normal vision right away or if it was blurry for a while. Some people also report a significant emotional changes afterwards, anxiety, uneasiness, or even a sense of calm. After some of these, I have felt off for a while afterwards, but not all of them. A lot of people report that certain foods can be triggers or make them more probable. I think that is also true for me, but I've had only a handful of these in 15 years, so it could just be a coincidence. Another thing that seems to trigger them for me is either extreme changes in brightness, like walking from a bright sunny day outdoors into a very dark indoor room, or sudden flashing lights, such as when you walk or drive through the shadows of trees. These examples are all sped up. It normally takes about 5 to 20 minutes for a mind to progress and fade away. In my experience, it starts in one eye, and then a separate blob will appear in the other eye within about 30 seconds. So one eye is ahead of the other. Other people have reported that they don't get scintillating, they just get blurred or a blind spot that grows and then fades out. This first example is known as fortification spectra. This was the first type I experienced and only had this type one time. All of the anomalies were black and white, completely opaque, and would flash back and forth between black and white like this. I think the visual effect is just the brain cells that process visual information that are firing out of order. It's an overlay of your normal vision so that when you close your eyes, it's still there exactly the same, just as bright and just as opaque. You cannot stop seeing this by closing your eyes or anything, so it can get annoying. Personally, it reminds me of that thing where one of your ears will ring for no apparent reason. It's almost like the visual version of that. This second example I've had maybe six to ten times. I haven't seen it described by anyone else. I call it a yellow scotoma, but the color is not actually yellow. It's a color that doesn't really exist, which I call yellow-blue. Normally that would be green, but this is more like seeing two different colors at the same time. The way you hear two different pitches as a chord, this color is experienced as a chord instead of a mix. Or when you wear 3D glasses and your eyes switch back and forth between the red and the green. And there's a complementary blue that's the opposite or negative of this color too. I also see clouds of these colors when I close my eyes in the dark, so maybe you do too? This one tends to start like flash blindness, where you glanced at a bright light or a camera flash and get that little blue-yellow afterimage spot for a few seconds. But in this case, it just continues to grow. At the start, the yellow is very strong, as bright as looking directly at a midday sun, but it's not painful at all. The intensity reminds me of the first bit of light during a solar eclipse as the sun just starts to peek out from behind the moon. The edges of it are all jaggedy, outlined in thinnest possible black, and look like a fractal that would have seemingly endless detail if you could just zoom in a little bit more. The color is so pure, you never see color that pure anywhere else in life. It really is beautiful. As the yellow leading edge expands, it leaves behind a transparent blue, which isn't really blue, in its place, which slowly fades back out to normal. This has been the least impactful type for me, and I know that I experienced it on two separate occasions immediately after running through tree shadows with the sun flashing in my eyes. And one other time was after walking into a dark house after being in extremely bright sunlight. This third type is the most recent one I had and was also accompanied by a central blur or flickering. I don't have a name for it, but it seems to be more similar to what I've seen described by others. Each little segment was a very saturated color, and that color rapidly changed. Unlike the yellow ones, the inner blur on this was completely blinded out at one point. I don't think blur is really accurate either. It wasn't 
quite a blurred image or it wasn't like a solid color or anything. It's more like nothing is there, kind of like what's past the edge of your peripheral vision. It's not black or blurry. It just doesn't even exist, but it's in the middle of your vision, which is really weird. Uh, I was looking at a TV screen with two people standing arm's length apart, and when I looked at one person, I couldn't see the other half of the other person at all. And I could see their legs, but not the rest of them. It was also in my peripheral vision, and so I was annoyed at not being able to look directly at this one. Uh, like I said, this only one happened once, and I, I knew it was there, but I couldn't focus in on the details, almost like when you're trying to read in a dream and you can't make out the letters or words. Now, I know the title says these are awesome, and the people who experience this followed by a migraine headache are probably going to disagree a lot, but and having experienced the headaches for 25 years, I know how awful they are, and I wouldn't wish them on my worst enemy. But I think the optical effect can offer some insight into how our vision works, and that in itself is pretty awesome. We tend to think of our vision like a camera. This little bit of light hits our eye, and it's detected and becomes a pixel in our picture of the world, but... What's cool is it doesn't happen that way. It gets processed, taken apart, and reassembled. If you look at convoluted neural networks for, say, detecting images of dogs, the image gets put through a bunch of abstract layers that look for bits and pieces, none of which really look like a dog. Some layers will look for things like horizontal lines or a diagonal or several parallel lines or some other weird blob. It gets digested into something more like a list of objects or items rather than a bunch of pixels. Similar things happen with JPEG images where each square of pixel gets reduced to a list of numbers saying how well they match each of a bunch of pre-made tiles. When the file is then decompressed into an image again, those tiles are used to build the image. If you look at these different types of scotomas, they seem similar. It's as if some of the neurons involved in vision processing, for example the ones looking for little diagonal lines, are all located together in your brain and they're firing off saying, I see diagonal lines here, and then setting off their neighbors. The yellow ones were different for each eye, so I'm guessing they were in a part that processes each eye before both are combined. In fact, if you look at how color vision works, hey, hey, wait a minute. Ooh, check this out. Okay, you see color by cones that detect red, green, or blue light. The thing is, when you see red light, it's not like only your red cones are firing. They all fire with any color, it's just how much. So with red light, the red cones fire the most. The blue cones, they still fire, just not very much. So processing which color is being detected is similar to the way you tell which direction a sound is coming. One ear is louder than the other. So it's not like the color mixing on your monitor where a red pixel is only red and there's no green or blue. The cool thing is though, if you're bypassing the eyes themselves and this is only happening in your brain, it's possible for say only the blue detection to fire without any red or green detection. What would that even look like? My guess is this is what's going on with that weird blue yellow thing I'm seeing. I think maybe the neurons that are supposed to be detecting blue are becoming depleted, which becomes that yellow on the leading edge, and then after a bit, they can start working again, and this is the dull blue wash that comes back. So what do you think? Have you had any of these or other types? How often do yours happen, and do you get the headaches afterwards? Leave a comment below and let me know.